Hey everyone, I'm Doug. I'm Wit. And we are the, the Stream Team. team. <laughs> are we going to do that every time? I think so. It's kind of going to be kind of our trademark. Oh man. So, and then this time we're going to cover one of the things that is very often requested in a lot of the online forums for video production. And that's how to deal with audio delay for cam from cameras. Delay, delay, so. delay, delay. Yeah. Delay. <laughs> delay with an echo. <laughs> echo, echo, echo. <laughs> So, maybe it's better when we're more tired. <laughs> maybe so. <laughs> Get a little sillier. Basic problem is this. These camera, this style of camera in particular, has a fairly long delay from the time the light goes in the front till the signal comes out the HD. If you have audio going through, like, like you have a microphone that's going through a mixer and you hook your mixer up into your switcher, all of a sudden your audio is out of sync with your video. Because this, is, this signal is taking a long time to get there, the audio is not. So, oh, okay, so the audio is quicker. Audio gets there faster, yeah, exactly. And it's a, it's a very common problem, especially for people who are using this style of switcher, because they're probably using cameras like this rather than actual camcorders that are really made right. for doing live work. So like the, one of the most popular cameras of this style is a Panasonic GH5. I bet you've probably used one of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. it's got a terrible delay on the HDMI output. Oh. And so people who use that camera, like, my audio is out of sync. What do I do? And so that's kind of what we're going to talk about. Yep, that's episode. something that would happen to me. Yep. And then I'd cry and I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> and I'd probably call you. And I'm like, I don't know what's wrong. So that's why we're going to talk about this. First thing, what, what, what do you think would happen if this camera was delaying six frames and this camera was only delaying two frames on the output? You go to switch between mm -hmm. them. I have no idea. Every time you switch, this one's going to be more behind than this one. Oh, right, right yeah. Yeah. So, so they're not going to match. Yeah, you you cut from this camera to this camera, it's going to it's like it's going to jump forward in time. If you mm -hmm. go the other direction, it's going to jump backwards in time. So that sounds horrible. It is. It absolutely yeah. is horrible. So the first thing, if you if possibly can, use all the same camera. Okay, I was just going to ask, is it because they're different cameras? It is exactly because it has nothing to do with the cords. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it has nothing to do with uh, the connection to the switcher. It has nothing to do with the switcher. If this camera is always delaying more than this camera, there's essentially next to nothing you can do to try and fix that. Is so, it because of just the brand or the It's not type a brand specific thing. It's it's what the manufacturer decides to prioritize when they make the cameras. Oh. So, like with this one, it was never made to do live video. Period. Right. And yeah. so they didn't put a lot of effort. They didn't put fast electronics in it in order to get the signal out the HDMI port super fast. Mm -hmm. But if you get a camcorder, on the other hand, they are. Like, the idea of those is a lot, in a lot of, a lot of cases they are going to be used live. And so you want to have the minimum amount of delay from the light coming in to coming out the HDMI port. Right. So, so they work a lot better for that. Okay. So, so you can use cameras like this, but there's some trade-offs. And we've talked about that a number of times. So, yeah, so But one of them is that the HDMI port's on a lot of these. It's not... Not the port itself, it's just the camera. Mm -hmm. Takes a while to process this, the image and get it out to your switcher. Yeah, okay. So so that's the problem. So mm -hmm. start by... <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, take a take breath. <laughs> so the first thing you do is make sure that all your cameras have a, at least have a similar delay if, if they're not the same model. I mean, if right, at all possible, yeah. use the same model, mm -hmm. right? That way you know it's always going to be the same. And look at through the menus for any sort of settings. Like sometimes adding additional processing can actually delay the signal a little bit more. So um, if you have, like there's some cameras that might have a skin softening effect or something like that. Something like that can actually delay the signal uh, coming oh. out the HDMI a little bit. So <laughs> let's look through the menus and try and find something that maybe you can turn off to make it process faster. No so. filters, everyone. <laughs> And then okay. once you've done that, and all your the video from all your cameras is actually coming out pretty much in sync with one another, mm -hmm. then we can actually start to address the audio delay problem. It's actually a, a video delay problem, to be honest. Like, the audio is going to come first before the okay. video, right? Because the video coming out of the camera is always delayed, whereas the audio is basically not. Two weeks ago, remember the software update for yes. ATEM Mini? The video I made you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the very one. Yeah. So that, what they added in that version was an audio delay in the switcher itself. Oh. Yeah, because cool. it's a very common problem for people using this model. It's not because of the switcher, but people tend, using the switcher tend to use this style of camera more than an actual real camcorder. 
Okay. So they added a delay in here, so you can delay the audio by up to four frames. But that's only A10 miniseries. Oh, like, yeah. my big fancy switcher, no delay. It doesn't have that feature. Because there's no delay. Because most people are running that equipment. Have real equipment? Have, yeah, have camcorders <laughs> that are made for that environment. Yeah, that's so. true. So it's more of a problem for this segment of the market that we're kind of talking about. Mm. So, but if, if your camera has more of a delay, like from what I'm hearing, the GH5, it's more like five to six frames of delay. Okay. Then you have to employ another solution somehow. Yeah. Which leads us to... How? <laughs> yeah. It typically is going to require a piece of equipment somehow. Uh, so we'll take a look at this one. So this, was, this is the Behringer... It's called FBQ100, but it's actually called the Shark. Um, so this little unit has a delay feature built right into it. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like $129. The main downside to this one is it only handles one channel, so you can't do stereo audio with it. Oh. So okay. if you're just doing voice, fine. You know, nobody mm -hmm. cares if it's stereo. But if, if you have music you need to include, you probably want to step up something that's actually got... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So this is just like the bare minimum yeah, exactly. of what you would need. Yep. But for just a few dollars more, this is also from Behringer. This is a Virtualizer 3D FX2000 FX processor. It's a mouthful. It's only about... Half of them are mouthfuls. So <laughs> it's not Half? Probably like 95%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So this one's only $30 more, but it does, it'll do a stereo delay, and it's got a million other features in it, too. I would recommend somebody yeah. go with something like this. You know, it's more versatile. Mm -hmm. It's rack mount, so you can mount it with your other equipment. You can get it out of the way, have it permanently wired. I actually prefer, for this kind of thing, I actually prefer F products from Lexicon. This is the MX200. I think these aren't made anymore, because I couldn't find them for sale anywhere. But you can pick mm -hmm. them up on eBay uh, for, next okay. to, for next to nothing. They aren't that expensive, but they're they're awesome. Lexicon is kind of one of the higher end. I was going to say, I've heard that brand before, and maybe it was at NAB. Could, could they, be. Do they, they do wireless mic stuff? Uh, their parent company does, but they themselves are really just doing effects processor. They're best known for their reverbs. They have some awesome reverb processors. Here on the desk in front of me, this is my MX400. This is uh, basically like two of the 200s in one unit, so you can do two effects at the same time. Wow. in one of these things so, <laughs> so these are awesome um, they're getting hard to find because most people who need to do this type of effects are like working in a studio and they just do it on the computer with software yeah it's only live where we need these kinds of things anymore but why are they getting rid of them then uh well there's just not a huge market for them anymore oh, you know okay. like back back when i bought this most people doing audio needed this kind of equipment live audio needed this kind of equipment but these days delays and those kinds of things are built right, right into your higher end mixers. So these aren't nearly as popular as they used to be. And as a result, you, you can get them for next to nothing on eBay. And I picked up one, it was a different model of Lexicon. It was like 1500 new and I got it for a hundred bucks. Dang. So, yeah, and it's one of their high end reverbs. So yeah, nice. anyway. But it's essentially what you do. Hook up the output of your mixer. Uh, can we see, sort of, yeah. So hook up, hook up the output of the mixer into the inputs of your effects processor and then the outputs of the effects processor would go into your switcher. Oh, okay, so, so you just directly take that and mm -hmm. plug it in mm -hmm. directly to yeah, it. Yeah, okay. just buy the appropriate cables. These, on this one, these are quarter inch out and this has an eighth inch input. But, you know, Auxiliary different. cord? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, when yeah, you just say numbers, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind of cord is that? It's all also known as TRS. So, okay. But different units have different, like some of them will have XLRs, like the microphone style connector. Oh, so okay. So whatever unit you get, just make sure you get the appropriate cable to run it into. The other advantage these have is they also do other things besides just delays. So uh, we'll, we'll do a whole episode at some point on compression, audio compression. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thrill, thrill a minute. I hate audio. <laughs> But we'll cover our audio compression, but which basically, compression is basically a way to maintain the, the volume so that it's mm -hmm. consistent, so you don't have people getting really loud yeah. and then not be able to hear them when they speak, speak quietly. Mm -hmm. So a compressor will take care of that. So, but this, this, this will have a compressor built into it, so you can use it for that as well. So you oh. can actually do your That's delay. That's helpful during life. And your compression. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very yeah. much so. You can do 
both your delay and your compression in one single unit. The other thing that some people do, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, they actually, instead of plugging the audio into the switcher, mm -hmm. will just plug it into the camera so that it's being delayed by the same amount as the video. Oh, so that's something I would do. It's a cheap, easy solution. So plug the audio into the camera? Yeah, the output of your mixer go directly into your camera. Okay. So that way, yeah, because whatever amount of delay there is for the video, the audio is going to have the same delay coming out. Mm -hmm. and so that way you're able to maintain lip sync. The same, yeah. Yep. But why wouldn't you want to do that? You want, your cameras might not necessarily be close to where your mix, where your audio mixer is. Yeah. Or well, the other big problem is a lot of these cameras, the audio inputs just are not very high quality. They can be noisy or, I mean, there's, they're not made for that. That's so, true. And again, another one of the situations we were using equipment for something that it wasn't really intended to do. I know. What were you guys shame, thinking? Shame, shame. <laughs> So I've done it in a pinch. There's been a few times when I've done it. Yeah, the preferred solution would be to go through this or to use a mixer that actually has a delay built into it. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, those can be kind of expensive. So, so. just get a few hundred thousand dollars <laughs> and everything will work. Tell everybody how to do that, Wit. <laughs> I don't know. Someone needs to tell me that. <laughs> yeah, me too. So. Yeah, okay. So yeah, the bottom line is you have to delay your audio to match up with your camera. See, that's like so. something I would never even think about either. Is, right. is the audio going to delay with the video? Right. Well, I would never even, think that. Most people don't even aren't even aware that there's a delay from the signal in the camera. Until later. Yeah, until they like, plug, they hook it up and all of a sudden, like, wait a minute, my audio it doesn't match up with the video. People talk and the lips don't that'd be, match. That would be embarrassing. Yeah. If you guys have any questions about this, be sure and leave those in the comments section down below. And For Doug. <laughs> She's given up. <laughs> I don't normally read them. He just tells me the nice ones. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you give Whit a nice do. compliment, I pass them on. <laughs> yeah. The nice pick me up. Yep. So, <laughs> uh, what else do we do? Are we ending a video. Uh, share. So, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> share, like, subscribe. Uh, yeah, let other people know about this channel if they're trying to do live streams, especially because. I find it helpful mm -hmm. and so I know a lot of other people will too and I'm pretty slow so he <laughs> explains things well <laughs> and and we see it and seeing it is really what helps me right it's like seeing it and like actually like going through the, the steps right. Right. so yeah yeah she's a lot smarter than she lets on folks <laughs> I just don't talk no good <laughs> That's why I write. <laughs> uh, so, oh, yeah. also, um, if you haven't checked out our our website, we actually uh, turned on the website not too oh, long yeah. ago. Yeah. So that's streamteam.link. So not a lot of stuff. It's basically just a list of the episodes so far. Yeah. So yeah, she's doing all the editing. Yeah. I'm doing the website. So. I don't do web. <laughs> I thought me. that was your favorite class. It took me. <laughs> I failed it twice. <laughs> me three times to pass that class <laughs> it's because of all the it's like learning a different language like we're talking quite about i hated yeah, it yeah quite it's literally so, um, language. tedious yeah well, anyway <laughs> i'm taking the care of the website so. yeah <laughs> thank <laughs> so, you anyway. anyway thanks guys for watching and i'll talk to you later